Yeah, now we really did come a long way. 97%. Ooh, only 3% to go. Question mark. And these are the crushes that... What? I was supposed to... Yep, Diddy cannot... Or DK can't even destroy these. Uh, oops. Hold on, what? Well, I... Th okay, you know what? I guess we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Next time we die, because I presume we will. This is it, by the way. This is the final level. Non-boss level of Donkey Kong Country. So, I hope you enjoy it. It, uh... God, I, re I'll, I remember the first time I beat it. I think. It took me probably two hours. I almost gave up. I didn't even realize it was the last level. Because that was... Surprisingly, I never look. I didn't look up much about the game. And this was before I... Won Cut that out. <laughs> that was before I 100%ed it. Sorry, I mouthed off a spoiler like it was nothing. I'm really tense, so I apologize. So, so far, level's not that bad, right? Of course not. Let's get the continue barrel. And grab this barrel, because you never know when you need a good barrel, right? Grab the N, because why not? Let's get the final Kong letters. It's just a bunch of naughties on platforms. Nothing so bad about that at all, really. This is a piece of cake. Oh, a clump. So if you're playing as Diddy, you're screwed. Like, if you just have Diddy, you are really screwed there. Which I think kind of sucks. Whatever incentivizes you to swap between characters, and here's where it gets difficult. We finally see the indestructible, well, unjumpable crushes, and this happens. There's going to be a good amount of tense silence, I promise. No, 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 no. Oh, that's okay. You know what? Diddy can still throw just fine. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't die once? I mean, I still got to get the final secrets, but let's see how do I do that exactly? Um I don't think my rolling jump is going to make it over there, right? No, there's no way. Hold up. No, it's not over here. It's not over here. I keep forgetting I can back out even mid-death. Like, not death, but leap. No, why did I do that again? <laughs> This death counter is so great. It's almost over though. I'm almost done doing that to myself. Yes, there's an invisible one down here. That's right, okay. I didn't even have to look it up. Though I believe there's a second one and I will probably, 99% sure, look that one up. Oh my God. And what do we get? A one up. Well. <laughs> Not worth it, technically, because we lost, like, three lives trying to get it. <laughs> I'm still really tense. Jeez. I can't believe I did that. One try. Oh, my God. So, I found out, looking it up, we have to do the whole level again. Remember when I did the bulk of the level without dying? Well... <laughs>
Here it is. Hidden scaffolding. Whew. I'm going to speed that up and leave it in. Prove that I did it without dying again. And that was tense. Actually, I think I'm sweating. Yes, thank you. I don't want it anyway. Well, that's it. That's all the levels. All we've got left is a final boss, perhaps? Let's go take a look. Neki's Revenge! No, not the final boss. This is Master Neki Sr. And he got his revenge by us launching ourselves into his beak. Oh no, he's more vicious. We bounced off his face. This one we can't hurt, except uh, after he's thrown a nut. See? The, it, it's, it's weird. Oh my god, please? Thank you. Oh! <laughs> I couldn't hold left there for some reason. It was one of those awkward, like, unmovable jumps. I don't know. I don't know how I triggered that. Or maybe I just missed the button. Who knows? But yes, for a semi-final boss, this is kind of a joke. Just a recoloring, just like, you know, really naughty was. Damn! Okay, I'm lying, I guess. Because he's really, he's giving me trouble. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, well, I mean, I'm cool with that. We're done with levels. We don't really need lives as long as I save before I get a game over, you know? Oh. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay. Nope, nope. Oh. talking I think he does it in a pattern one two three yep and we didn't do it properly damn it one two three okay so now he's gonna do four probably yep okay I don't know how I didn't figure it out damn okay he's spinning them so fast though I guess I could try standing under him Okay, one, one, two, whoa, I, I regret calling you a joke, buddy, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm really sorry, damn, oh my god, this is way harder than I remember, Master Neki Senior, jeez, A good pattern. Oh no, he's doing it low! I can't handle low! Oh, I did it. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> okay. Huh. That was definitely a lot more stressful and difficult than I remember, but that's alright. Because now it's time for the final boss at Gangplank Galleon. Don't worry, not a full world. Even though I'm kind of disappointed because I would love a full world, but we are gonna go save first because we have like two lives. <laughs> All right, and we have 100%. That's right, we did it. We 100% of Donkey Kong Country, but now we gotta go beat the final boss and see the credits. You guys see Candy on her travels, tell her I'll, what, something about surfing. Listen to this song. This is King K. Rule, and uh, the song is actually Gangplank Gallium without a hyphen. Simple trick to this. 
Just <laughs> never mind, my bad. Okay, whatever. I really thought I could beat this boss without taking a hit. I'm honestly pretty surprised. But that's okay. He is very pattern hit. What is wrong with me? <sighs> okay. Don't worry, you get a DK barrel at the beginning of the fight, just like any other boss fight. God, I love this song. I It's a very strange final boss song, but I absolutely adore it. It's amazing. And yes, uh, I can give credence to the thing about our, our Navy uh, patrolling areas we had occupied. As a, Speaking as an American, I mean. Not personally. I say we, but I do not want to connect myself to that. So the whole pirate thing makes sense. All right, I'm gonna, there we go. You just stay in one spot and go back and forth. And then he throws his crown. His crown will obviously hurt you, in case you can't tell from the way he's fighting. All right. But he always does one, two, three, one, two, three, no matter what he's actually doing. Why? That feels so different. That's weird. I guess I haven't played the SNES version in so long. All right, and now three times. There we go. They can't hurt you after they hit the ground the one time. I lied. Okay. <laughs> we have zero lives. We might yet get to see what a game over looks like. I love how he has one of the giant Nintendo bananas back there. Just in the back, we can already see it. Here, I'll show you again. There it is. Ah, too focused on banana showing. Yeah! Way to be cool. I'm so cool. Look at Donkey Kong Island in the background. How did we get on the ship? That's something I do want to know. And when is it coming back? It's coming back. It's coming back. Oh. I'm really nervous about it now. And boom! And then he suddenly gets his crown back somehow, miraculously. So let's see it. Let's do it. Okay, why was I messing that up so badly before? I don't get it. <laughs> we did it! We beat Donkey Kong Country. See, the final boss is not that hard. I really thought I could beat it without taking a hit. Here we go! Yeah, the final boss theme, since the fight is so short and easy, they let it continue into the credits. Coding, claptrap, characters, crush a coloring, critter. I love the British coloring there. So with a K, everything's got a K. Commander, King K. Rule, the end. And by the point, you've set the controller down. Not noticed. This is fake credits. And we died. I forgot his stride there. <laughs> Game over. That honestly felt good. I haven't seen that screen in years. And yep, kicks you out. Good thing we saved. Alright, I'll meet you back at the fight. I guess after the credits, the fake credits. <laughs> Which, by the way, I wonder how many kids that confused and just caught off guard and they died because of it. This fight used to take me a good while, but I've been able to beat it the last few times I've tried without dying at the very least. Oh well, I I'm not complaining about a challenge and the game lasting a little longer. And also, his cape looks so good. Yes, you do have to watch them every time. But see, he made it without taking a hit. No problem, next try. All right, we can do this. I just gotta be patient and attentive. Because now he jumps. You just have to pay attention to his jumping. 
And that's about it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, and if you jump under him, you should be good. I roll under him, not jump under him. That's a bad idea, because then you get hit, obviously. Fuck. Alright, okay, okay. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh, no, I hate these. There we go. And now he's actually dead. See? Not that bad. Man, I can't believe that took me like 30 minutes when I was younger. Well done, donkey, my boy. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no-good Kremlings? You've made an old man proud, even though he still hits us with his cane. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Remember, that's what he said in the manual at the beginning of the game. What a player you are, donkey, my lad. You've beaten the Kremlings. And found absolutely everything. You're nearly as good as I used to be. It's funny because he used to be a villain. <laughs> Look at those beautiful bananas made with silicon graphics. Here it is, the credits concerto. And see, I told you we'd see all the enemy names at some point. Okay, well, I don't want to not talk over credits because that's just kind of something you do. Plus, the song actually loops. It's not one. It's not made just to fit the specific credit sequence, which is nice. And I love these little animations, and you get it all in DK's treehouse. And I could have sworn there was a secret we could have already accessed in the treehouse. Oh well, we'll try again in a minute. I do have one other thing to show you, really, aside from multiplayer. Uh, see, and I guess they got this from Mario World too. And you know, Mario World also had the thing with lighting, you know, in the final room of Bowser's Castle. Oh yeah, it shows all the palettes. I don't think any of the unused palettes show up in the credits, but I haven't really been paying attention. <laughs> Good old Master Nicky, Queen Bee. Really naughty. Very uh, interesting bosses, to say the least. And of course, King K. Rule. But now we have the good guys! Rambi, who we didn't really use that often, actually. Which is kind of shocking. On guard. I looked away for a second, because I'm actually looking for something I'm going to show you because I have to search through the giant cutting room floor page for it. So you enjoy the credits while I do that. Oh, finally we get the Kongs. Surely it's me next. Cranky Kong. Diddy Kong. And the man himself, the banana slamma, Donkey Kong. And he is congratulating us. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, got him. Classic slapstick. So we punch him straight in the face. And then... <laughs> I love these animations just being for the ending. The biting the finger and everything. Beautiful. Charming. I did this using one life. And it I took less than an hour. And here's the staff credits, but actually that Cranky Kong thing, that's considered Cranky Kong's challenge. Uh, that's uh, the completionist, even. If you don't know who the completionist is, uh, you should, if you're watching me. Uh, he used to consider that part of completion until somebody who actually worked in the game said, no, that's just a funny line. Because you don't get anything out of doing it. So, well, there we go. Music slash sound. D-Y-Z Fisher Arbeenland. 
uh, and the Stamper brothers are the main people at Rare, the, the, the founders of the company, I believe. So, uh, what, Chris and Tim Stamper. A lot of these people I don't know. Dan Osen, he did the, uh, he started Earthbound's localization, but then moved on. That's okay. Marcus Lindlum did a better job, so that's okay. Special thanks to Mr. Yamauchi. Special thanks. Is this <laughs> K-Lob? He could have... Clob! K-L-O-B-B. -B. That could have been an enemy in the game. I don't know who Elias is. <sighs> Original Donkey Kong creator, S. Miyamoto. Greg Mails, the main designer. I've talked about him before. And... Guess what? Yamauchi was not the executive producer. Fascinating. And it just... Kicks us out of the game. That's about it. Okay, well, let's go back in here. And that's right. 101%. It did save when we, <coughs> when we beat the game. And it has an asterisk instead of a thingy. But let's finally see. I think that looks so awkward, but I love the idea that there's a secret extra percent hidden. I could have sworn that... Very Naughty was going to be in our treehouse at some point. I guess that's not in this version of the game. Oh well. I thought after you uh, beat Gorilla Gr Glacier that he shows up. Let's go check out our horde. And that's right. It always feels good when a game, you beat the final boss and it kicks you out. But... <sighs> but you actually, your progress meant something. It's always good, always a good feeling. But, you know, I, I've shared my thoughts on Donkey Kong Country with you enough, but I told you my favorite part was the soundtrack. And if you'll notice, there's no sound test, so you just have to go in the levels and pause if you want to hear the music, right? Wrong! We're gonna do a nice little reset here. Oh, there's our restore point from last time in case something goes wrong with these files, which I'm gonna be a little upset. Okay. Uh, I've never done this before. You have to highlight a race game on the file select menu and press down A R. Okay, down A R B Y down A Y. Oh, press select. Uh, the screen will briefly blank until it plays DK Island Swing, which it's doing. And press select again to cycle through a set selection of music. I never knew this existed until the other day. Cave Dweller Concert. You know which one I'm looking for, though. What's, what is this? Is anything playing? Oh. Dear God. Well... I'll see you next time for the multiplayer, but to end off, I told you it was April 1st today. This is April Fool's Day. Right before recording, I was uh, I was trying to prank Galen by telling him Metroid Prime 4 wasn't going to come out, but he immediately saw my message and did not fall for it. Very dejecting. I, I, I really thought he'd fall for the fact that they canceled Metroid Prime 4 because they just delayed Breath of the Wild 2. But no. And then, turns out, I just got a message from David saying, April Fools, he is coming with us. So, everything is whole again. So, there's that subplot finished. And I just want to th say thank you to Rare. I want to say thank you to Nintendo. Thank you to my wife. And I love everybody. And we will be seeing Galen, who I will thank in the multiplayer, maybe. We'll see. Oh, I love this game so much. Oh, I... And for anybody curious, I do like Mario World better. But that does not mean... Oh my god, this game is way up there for games that I have done on the channel so far. Of course, we are just beginning to get into games that are just... That will blow my mind. Of course, we did Earthbound. That is my favorite game of all time. Oh, 1994 is a good year. But this came out November uh, 20th in the middle of Nintendo Power Fest 94. Uh... In fact, it came out in America the same day that the Nintendo Power Fest finals were happening, November 21st. 
And there's another thing about Donkey Kong Country I didn't talk about. It has a competition cartridge, but we will be seeing that later as it is technically a separate game. So, but that was also part of Power Fest 94. So just to get you in the frame of mind of where we are so I can have an excuse to keep talking and listening to this music, but thank you. I'm LP Master 6. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.